So you got these plugins, you downloaded them, you bought them, uh, your friend gave them to you, whatever, <laughs> and you don't know how to install these Final Cut Pro, Pro plugins. Well, today I'm gonna show you two different ways to install those plugins, one of which if you don't have motion, and one of which if you do. One's easier than the other, but hey, I'm a nice guy, I'll show you how to do both of them. What's up guys, and if you're new here, my name is Paul, and I run a channel that inspires other creators that your future is whatever you make it, and I do that through tutorials and gear reviews, and today we're going into an old fashioned, or new fashion, Final Cut Pro tutorial. If you haven't already yet subscribed, you know, please do so. I got a lot of content coming up on Final Cut Pro. My next video will actually be about where to find free titles, plugins, and transitions and all that kind of stuff for Final Cut that just takes your editing to the next level or it makes it a lot easier for you. Who needs to go out and know how to use Motion? There's so many awesome plugins for Final Cut out there and it's one of the main reasons why I stick with Final Cut continuously because I just have so many plugins and there's also so many out there that if I get tired of using the same old ones or modifying them, I can just go find other ones and buy them. But how do you install these? Some companies, they have installers. Others, they just give you a file and say drop it on your computer. But where in the world do you put that? We're gonna find out now. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the two different ways that you can install these plugins. One of which is if you have motion and the other one is if you don't. So I'm gonna go over the easier one first and save the harder one for later. So in this case, if you have motion, it's the easiest way to install it. Not like the other way is hard by any means, but that's what I'm gonna show you first. If you have motion installed. So you're gonna go over to your folder where you have your plugins. In this case, I just have on my hard drive. And I've got this XFX six free title plugins. I'm gonna copy that folder. Um, pretty much when you look at these folders, you're gonna see all the different like ways it breaks down when you open it into Final Cut. And when you go into that folder, then you're gonna see like the PNG, which shows you like a little, those are all the files that show you the preview when you're in Final Cut. Um, so we're gonna, once you have that folder copied, you're gonna go over to Movies, Motion Templates. And then here you're gonna decide, so I know that those were, it was a title pack, so it's obviously gonna be a title. And this is just gonna pretty much tell Final Cut where, you know, where it's going. So you got transitions, titles, generators, effects. What is it? In this case, it's a title. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that folder in this. As you can see, I've got a ton of different titles. That's the wonders of Final Cut. I just, there's so many title packs out there. So anyway, Make you know, make sure that was your final cut was closed when you did that. I mean, if it was open, you just have to close it and, and then reopen it again, and, and it should be there. So we're gonna go ahead and open up Final Cut and see if it did the trick. It was called what X Free, so it's alphabetical order all the way at the bottom. Oh, or X Effects, X Effects, and here are those titles. They're already boom here. And like I said, these are free. And check out the next video for those free titles. I mean, I'm gonna have a, a, a list of a ton of different sites that gave me a ton of free titles in my Final Cut Pro. You don't wanna miss that. So if you, if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you know when I post that video. All right, so I told you I was, that was the easy way. What's the hard way? Well, the hard way is not really hard, it's just more steps to get there. I'm gonna delete this plugin out of my thing and just re-add it just to show you. So now, you're at I'm in a clean slate. So we're gonna go to that plugins folder, make sure we uh, copy this, and then we're just gonna go into applications, right click on Final Cut, show package contents, contents, plugins, media providers, motion effects, contents again, resources, templates, and there you have it. I will choose titles, and just gonna paste this in there. It'll ask me for my password, and I put it in there. It's installed, and now essentially I should open up my Final Cut and it should be in there. And what do you know? Go straight to it. It's installed. So those are the two ways to install 
titles or plugins a lot of the time they'll just you, you, you know somebody will just drop you know a link a zip file to one of these and you just unzip it and you're like okay what do I do now this is what you would do so I hope you found something uh, useful out of this tutorial and like I said I'm gonna be doing more Final Cut Pro tutorials in the future and my next video is gonna be about where to find free titles and templates for Final Cut so you don't want to miss that video subscribe like do all the fun YouTubey things and you know that I will see you in the future